chains. Good block on Dave Butts. Close to the first down, and it could be a very critical, crucial first down. It is. Hey, it was big for a number of reasons. One we talked about now to pass. Danny White doesn't have to go into the end zone. Two, if they do get stopped, they have room for their punter, and they have room to work now, room to breathe now. Ogerboom signaling in the play. Spiceman and Gibbs on the opposite side of the field. Renfro and Hill come wide to the left. Dorsett remains behind Danny White. On first down, Renfro swings in motion. Harold Green goes with him. The handoff is to Tony Dorsett. Again, he dodges a couple of tacklers. Gets out to about the 18. Curtis Jordan again up to make the hit. You know, the funny thing about that uh, play, Pat, is, is Dexter Manley couldn't see Tony Dorsett. He got right in behind his blocker, and Manley was looking for him and couldn't find him, and Dorsett just scooted by him. Let's see if we can see it here. When when Manley starts to work up the field, you see him here? Now, now he can't see Dorsett right there. Of course, he was being held, too. By, by Posterick, who's 6'9". Easy to hide behind. That gives him the motion. Second down. White back to go. Goes to Cosby, and Cosby juggles and comes up with it finally. Doug Cosby used that six foot six advantage. Neil Olkowitz was wrapped around Cosby. Look at this effort. I'll tell you, the, the second effort was a big one because one of the Redskins was diving for the ball as Cosby was. And Cosby came up with it. You see the ball there. It hits out of his hands. It's knocked up in the air. And there comes, I think, Vernon Dean from the outside. And he was diving for that ball, too. Neil Okowitz had a hammerlock on Cosby. No flag. First down, Dallas. And they move it out of the shadow and out of that end zone. Newsom and Dorsetter behind Danny White. Redskins over shift. Hand off is to Dorsett, and he's wrapped up after a yard, and here they come again with the yellow flag. Dave Butts made the stop. Again, it's going to be in the area off offensive holding against the Reds, I mean, against the Cowboys. What if they're holding Dave Butts? He's the guy that made the tackle. Kurt Peterson blocking there on him. Holding number 65. Offense. Sounds Still like you're right. Down. That was Kurt Peterson's number 65 blocking against Dave Butts' number 65. Butts got the tackle and the hold call. That's the eighth time holding has been called against both teams in this contest. 10.50 left to play. First and 20. Cowboys operating from their own 19. That's the penalty story. White the doorstep to the outside and there's nothing, nothing there. Charles Mann and a host of other Redskins there in a hurry. Mel Kaufman was the first guy up there, the linebacker. He got penetration outside and made Dorsett cut back to the inside. Here we can see Kaufman. He's number 55. He's going to come up to the right of the screen. See him get in the backfield right there. See, he's there. Now, that makes Dorsett, in fact, he darn near tackled him. That made him stop. Then he had to cut back in onto all those Redskin jerseys. Second and 19 from the 20. Cowboys desperately trying to get out with some respectable room so they can perhaps... Ooh, this one was an attack and almost picked off by Vernon Dean intended for Renfro. Was a dangerous, dangerous throw. Hey, if Vernon Dean knew he had that. He was so upset he started doing exercises. Watch him. He's here. He gets a good read on it. He gets a good jump on it. Does everything a defensive back has to do. And then go, oh, he let that thing slip through his hand. He'll just do an exercise there. He'll try and touch the ground. That's it. That's serious. When they start doing exercises. You never know. Some guys do exercises. Some guys hit themselves in the head. Yep. Well, that's an exercise. That's utility. Third down. 19 from the 20. No shotgun, but right back to throw. 
Pass quickly to Tony Hill. That looks like it's going to be about a yard short of a first down for the Cowboys. But it does give them some reading, uh, some breathing room. I'm sure it's going to be short, and Tom Landry in this situation will probably decide to punt. Hey, that depends on where they get the spot. But it looked like where they spotted it from here that it's short. In fact, it is. Saxon is already in the game. It was a gain of 18. They needed 19. Tom Landry has decided we are not going to take any chances here. 9-12 left to play. Clock is still running. Just over nine minutes left to play. Cowboys 13, Redskins 7. Well, that was a heck of a drive by the Cowboys to get the ball out here. This is a lot different field position than had the Redskins held them down there. Saxon back to punt. Redskins have Ken Jenkins back to you. Saxon gets off a honey. Jenkins retreats inside his 10 to about the 8. Can't find any room, gets to the 10, and that's as far as he can get before Victor Scott is down to hammer and knock him down. 4-8 on the punt. Shape it with fire, muscle, and sweat. Polish it to razor sharp perfection. We're looking for a few good men with a medal to be Marines. On game day in the National Football League, they are the ones in the know when you want to know the NFL Today. And of course, following the NFL Today, there will be that big match in Dallas. The Bears, the unbeaten Bears against the Dallas Cowboys at Texas Stadium. The way things are in the Eastern Division, the Giants, of course, have already beaten the Rams. So their record is 7-3. Dallas trying to match that. Washington 5-4. Five the surprising Eagles 5-5 five and, five and St. Louis 4-6. and six. The Bears, in the meantime, have a very commanding lead. In fact, if they win next week, they would clinch the NFC Central Division title. There's Lockhart at middle linebacker. So the Cowboys are expecting a run, and they got it. Redskins use Rodgers, and they get outside the 15, about the 18, before Ed Jones makes the stop. Bill Bates and Lockhart alternate in this situation now. Well, that's the situation that the Cowboys are playing a chess game with the Redskins. In other words, if they think they're going to pass, they want Bates in there at the linebacker. If they think they're going to run, they want Lockhart. They guess right on first down. They're guessing again, keeping Lockhart in, that the Redskins will run again. Second and six. They do have six defensive backs. They give again to Rodgers, and Rodgers gets very little. Lockhart was one of the tacklers. Don Smerrick was there as well, number 60. Well, now you're sure Lockhart will go out and Bates will come in on this one. You see, they had the six defensive backs. If Lockhart's in there, then that's a run. Now Bates comes in. Now they have 12 guys in the huddle. That's illegal, what they're doing right here. See, Lockhart can't wait that long to go out. They got 12 guys in the huddle. They put in a rule against that. You see what they did? They put him in and took him out. What the Cowboys just did is illegal. He comes in, he's got to stay, doesn't he? taking the chess team one step too far. Although they played it right because the Redskins ran and they kept Lockhart in there. And they didn't make the first down. Now here comes Bates. Now he's coming in as a punt returner now. He's That's sure right. that they stopped him. That's right. I wonder if Joe Gibbs is realizing now what they were doing because I know that he wanted to run against uh, the seven and pass against the other. And they had 12 guys in there when they called their play. They're going to measure, but it looks to be about a foot short of that first down. And now what do you do? You're six points down. You still have over seven minutes to go. I think if it's not a first down, I think you have to punt. Now, it's a tough thing to do. See how that ball is placed? The ball is placed sideways because that's how it went down. Had the ball been straightened out, that could have been maybe a first down. Would be close, but they're going to send in the punting unit. I think it might be an unpopular decision, but it's an intelligent one. I think they're going to take a timeout, Pat, and maybe reconsider, but I still think he has to do what he decided to do. 
Now he's going to think about it, and someone is going to have the opportunity to maybe talk him out of it. Joe Gibbs seems to be like the person who, once he has made his mind up, nobody's going to talk him out of it. 13-7, Cowboys lead. All the right parts in all the right places. Napa's putting smiles on American faces. Napa means auto parts. So dependable, they may be the best part of your car. More than 100,000 parts for import and domestic vehicles are available through over 6,500 Napa stores all across the country. Or get Napa quality at garages and service outlets where you see the Napa sign. Wherever you go, Napa's the one. All the right parts in all the right places. Soldier, we know you, courageous and brave, the country you honor, the flag that you wave, soldier, thank you. is a different Chicago team, one that takes no prisoners and physically punishes its opponents. It could be payback time for the monsters of the Midway. See this or other regional games starting with the NFL Today next Sunday on CBS Sports. Pat Summerall, John Madden, it would appear that the Redskins have made their decision, and that is that they're going to go for it. Go for the first down. It's fourth down and inches. 7-12 left to play. Dallas leading 13-7. You know, the Redskins and Joe Gibbs could be putting their entire season on this play. Boy, isn't that so. You know, yesterday he said that, that this is a crossroads. This is the one we have to win. Of course, Sonny Jurgensen is in the booth on the radio saying they ought to pass for it. The other thing they could do is run for it. And the third thing is just try and draw the Cowboys offside. With a long count, yes. Heisman now asking for quiet. They have Riggins in the backfield. That's Clint Didier who moved, and it's Riggins over the left side, and he might be... Well, he was almost gone. Shades of the Super Bowl a few years ago against Miami. He went left. Everson Walls knocked him down, but he got the first down and a lot more. Okay, they bring the old uh, cowboy in to do the job. When it has to be done, you give it to Riggins. I think if I had a short yardage situation and I had to have it, I think I'd want that big bull high stepping through there for me. Well, Michael Downs knows he met a met a bundle. Riggins hurtled over the left side, got the first down. The Redskins at their own 26 with six and a half minutes left to play. Rogers is back in place of Riggins. And they get to Rogers, and he gets only a couple over the left side. Randy White and Eugene Lockhart. That was a gutsy decision by Joe Gibbs, and uh, you always 